Welcome. In this video, we'll cover the new features and improvements in FL Studio Mobile 4.5. This update brings three great new effects. Tape Stop plus Wow and Flutter, both dedicated to old school tape effects, and Spreader, a stereo enhancer. Let's start with Tape Stop. Tape Stop emulates the pitch changes that come from slowing down or speeding up playback when the motor is stopped or started in a physical tape deck or vinyl record player for that matter. Highly useful for transitions. By default, the emulated tape is playing, so press play to hear the slowdown effect of stopping the tape. This doesn't change anything when the project is not playing, and while playback is stopped in the effect, no audio will be passed through. To restart the tape playback and audio pass through, tap play again. Remember, you can automate this control. Warp changes the start and stop inertia. Slide left for a quicker initial change. Or right for a slower initial change. In the middle, the speed change is linear or constant. The start and stop time sliders next to the tape reels set how long the slowdown and speed up time will be for each action. Use the sync switch to have them timed with the song tempo. Notice the control is segmented in this mode to indicate discrete tempo units. Next up is Wow and Flutter. This effect emulates the degradation that audio playback of physical media experiences with age, be it the aging motors, worn out belts or actual warps in the medium, for example a vinyl record. There are always variances in playback speed and often they're cyclical, meaning they repeat in a sinusoidal smooth up and down pattern. A slower speed modulation is usually called WOW. Change its speed via the WOW rate knob. Wow Amount sets how intensely the speed changes affect the audio. You can randomize the Wow Rate with the Random Rate knob. And set the amount of randomness introduced here. Flutter refers to faster speed modulations, typically caused by small amounts of dirt and grime on the rubber pinch rollers or belts in a tape deck. Set Flutter rate and amount here. You can synchronize Wow and Flutter's speeds to the song tempo using the switch here. The third new effect is Spreader. It allows you to expand the stereo width of any source. Importantly, the stereo separation it creates is mono compatible meaning that it cancels itself out when the signal is summed to mono, so it's non-destructive relative to the original sound. Width expands the stereo width when moved up. At the bottom, the stereo field is left unchanged. Low bypass will exclude low frequencies from the widening effect, keeping them centered for a balanced stereo experience. Songs with wide low end rarely make it onto the dance floor. The vector scope shows the width of the output signal. Mono signals show as a straight line. Everything wider than that indicates stereo separation. Represented by a dot running around the top of the vector scope is the balance indicator. It shows how the audio power is distributed between the left and the right channels, or where the audio is leaning. Let's finish with workflow improvements. Automation. When you record automation for quantized or switched parameters, it is now recorded as jumps instead of ramps. That means recorded automation for switches flipped that switch exactly when it was recorded, not later as the control is ramped up or down. Slide notes. When using the toggle slide option in the piano roll, all subsequently painted notes will be slide notes. Until you use toggle slide again to paint standard notes. You can also tap a standard note to switch back to standard notes. Same for slide notes. 
And finally, some options in the settings menu are recategorized in a more logical way, making sure the options are where you would actually look for them. And that's all the new features. Don't forget, you can check out the demo projects made for this video in the video description. And with that, we hope you love FL Studio Mobile 4.5 just as much as we love your lifetime free updates. Happy music making!